All right, guys, I'm gonna go fishing today. Found out that my footage from my other fishing trip that I made at the beginning before I got sick didn't turn out. The battery was dead, so it was not filming the whole time. Got the very beginning, and that was it. So I'm gonna go and give it another try now. This battery's fully charged. Hopefully everything works out good. Hopefully I catch some fish. I'm feeling so much better. I was I was pretty sick. Um, you can probably still hear it in my throat and everything, but I feel probably 90% right now. So it's time to catch some fish. So um, you know I can't even tell if, I, if I'm even on the screen right now with this little tiny. I'm using a GoPro. Um, I'll start. I'll put it on downstairs when I get to go into the kayak and maybe. Uh, Maybe I'll fall off the dock and go into the water. I'm hoping not, but it's not very easy to get in a kayak out there. So stay tuned. We're going to go catch some fishies. All right, guys, I hope that this camera is facing right right now. I had a little trouble putting it on. Hey, you guys all got in your kayaks without falling? I was having trouble turning on the GoPro, so... I can't tell if it's facing right. Is it facing like the same, like where my eyes would be looking right now? Or does it need to put point down more or something? A little bit down. A little bit more down? Right. Tell me when it looks like it's right. Is that right? Yeah. It's about right. What do you need me to do? What do you need? untie me. Quite an ordeal to get onto these kayaks from a dock. All right, you're good. I don't know what this was. I'll just put it up here. You guys need? You guys got everything? Yeah. All right, whose pole was this? Jackie's. Oh, mine. Yeah. You probably need that. Yeah, I think I do. Thank all right, you. get out. Get out of the way, so somebody else can put their kayak in. All right, all right. That's what we're trying to do, Larry. Get out of the way. Everybody got plenty of bait? Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good See ya. Luck. So anyway, guys, this is how we do it here. Got to launch it like this. I want to spin this thing around like this. Okay, don't go anywhere, Kayak. Get my fishing pole. I forgot my shoes, so I'm going to be going barefooted today. All right, here we go. Uh, hopefully, I don't fall in. Put my pole right there. Okay, here we go. Pretty smooth entrance. Okay, hopefully, hopefully my camera stays on because I had battery problems. One thing I learned, guys, don't don't buy cheap batteries. I had two cheap batteries for this thing and one good battery and the two cheap batteries even after they were um, charged up they are dead just like I was feeling not too long ago well I was gonna die a couple days ago it was pretty bad <clears throat> I feel about 90% Still got some congestion as you can tell from my talking and uh thickness in my throat coughing up some spoon so you might hear me cough a couple times guys i'm not dying you might hear me snort up some snot forgive me 
don't mean to now the other day when I was out here I caught 19 it's a shame I got no footage of it because at the beginning of the week when I got to fish I was uh, I was doing really good and I had the camera out like I said no the battery didn't know it shut off like right now I would have no idea if it shut off now so I might be wasting all this talking for nothing I see earlier in the week before I got sick <clears throat> I'd already passed Jackie by now she's the slowest kayaker in the world there goes Jeff and Terry all the way up there they got double the power I don't want to breathe too heavy because then I'll be coughing <coughs> like that <coughs> all in all though <coughs> I feel really good today other than the coughing occasionally and the, and the congestion but actually I can breathe fine out of my nose Jackie is paddling a, a double kayak, so it, it is harder to, to get them moving as opposed to like the single one that I have. I like the single one because it's easier to maneuver. This is actually the best setup one I ever had. We usually put uh, baskets on the back of ours, but we didn't this time because the dock was so far away from where we had to carry it, So, and we, we didn't know about putting the kayaks in. We thought somebody's going to be flipping off their kayak. For anybody, we actually thought it would be Jackie. We were kind of hoping for Jackie actually to flip off her kayak. But it didn't happen. It's a little disappointing. Now, now the other day, guys, what I was doing is I was just up in here. I'd come over to this shallow part right here. And I'd throw my line in. It's really deep in the middle. So... I should have been baited up. See, this is the other thing you got to always remember, guys. You should bait up before you actually get to your spot. Looks like I'm going to be drifting out for some reason. I'm trying this new thing because they worked really good the other few days ago. Um, they're bag of worms and they're fish bites. Uh, bag of worms, blood worm alternative. And let me tell you something, guys. I think these things are fantastic. They stay on your hook for a really long time. The fish absolutely love it. All right, so I'm gonna cast out here. Okay, there we go. Always have your net ready in case you get something big. Jeff's in the lead right now. We always have a fishing tournament when we're here. Jeff's in the lead with a, uh, a red drum. Um, he said it was like eight and a half inches. I don't know, could have been. I didn't see it except for a picture he took a picture of it looked like a pretty good fish all right so we'll see how this goes here looks like the tide might still be going out oh there oh I just had a hit all right that's a good sign there we go there we go come on take it take it take it, take it ah. all right there we go there we go getting a little little bites put a little, little line out make them think you can have it ah hit swing and a miss guys swing and a miss always when all of a sudden your it stops you got to check your bait because sometimes they can get your bait even though I said that this this stuff stays on I just saw a fish jumping over there over there on the side over there look like a pretty nice one this is actually perfect drift I'm drifting right down the middle right now see I always like them to go to the mouth of uh, when you, whenever you can get a chance to fish because what happens is a lot of the predator fish are waiting at the end to ambush something that's floating out or floating in depending on which way the tides going usually some big fish the biggest speckled trout I ever seen except for I didn't get it in a boat I've told that story before the only thing is like I notice 
down here if you get any of these weeds on there you won't even get a bite so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go i drifted way over here to the side as you can see so i'm going to go back this way go over to where i was kayak fishing is my favorite kind of fishing guys especially here in the sound that's the Pamlico sound out there guys this is a canal that goes off of it there's our house right there if you can see it we've never stayed at this house before I wish I could have enjoyed it a lot more than what I got to I only got to to enjoy it just for a short time and then I got like I said got sick and at least at least I was really lucky it was only like a uh, half of my vacation got ruined or a little bit over half got ruined Ooh, just got a nice bite then they're not being real aggressive oh, oh got him there we go all right there we go guys just a little guy I'm not even sure I can't even tell you what exactly this is I'm not it looks like a baby croaker no it's not his mouth is yeah I don't know what this is but I appreciate him Let me try to get this hook out of here he's got a tough tongue um, I appreciate the bite there buddy now give me my give me my hook back so I can fish some more it's very slimy you want to get him off the hook as fast as you possibly can there we go and get him back in that water come on swim 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 away guy yep. He's a little, uh, there he goes. He just took off. Sometimes they're, they're like in shock. You got to like help them get that water moving in their gills. He was only hooked in the tongue, so he wasn't hurt. I saw a little bit of blood coming out. Some people feel sorry for him. He'll be fine. So there we go. One, that was a really small one. I was catching bigger stuff than that um, the other day. Oop, one just jumped right behind me. But yeah, this bait, I, I, I would say I was catching like four or five fish on one piece of this bait. It's got like this mesh in the inside of it that doesn't come off your hook. Um, once you get down to that, you got, ooh, ooh, yeah, there, oh, that was a nice one. That sucks when that happens, guys. He's, he's back. He's playing with it. There he goes. Oh, I think I got him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. All right, we got a pinfish here, a bigger one. Oh, he just pooped all over the... Look at him, pooping. You got to watch him. They got some really sharp spikes on them. There you go, guys. That's a pinfish right there. And he pooped all over. He pooped all over me too. That was nice of him. Anyway, you see the mesh right there? You can see the mesh on right there. Uh, when, it, when you start noticing that, then you put it through again. So you can keep using that until all the, the red scent stuff is gone. It's really, I, I find it fascinating because it's really a good idea the way it is on mesh like that because what it does is it won't come off your hook it won't won't contaminate them uh, you can't I'm telling you you can't even get that mesh off oh, oh. got him there we go guys we got another one here oh he's a feisty little guy that's why I like to use these ultralights guys there we go looks like the same one I just had doesn't it just like that three fish on one piece of bait I usually use Ber Berkeley Gulp uh, blood worms. There we go. All right, nice splash. Um, but what happened was, is I, I just wanted to try these out. I was having a hard time finding the blood worms this year for the uh, the Berkeley Gulp. Maybe Gulp. Uh, did I say Gulp? Gulp. Um, I was having a hard time finding them because probably from COVID. Maybe they were they didn't make as much or something like that. But um, wound up. You guys catch anything no. I, I got three so far 
I got three two pin fish and some other fish. I don't even know what it was. I told you it's right in here. Some people don't listen to you. I got it all on camera, so I got it. I got it documented. Camera don't lie. But anyway, uh, what I was saying is, I guess maybe they stopped making them. I don't know what happened to them. Um, or they just maybe they went and uh, couldn't didn't make as many or something. I don't know. But they're hard to hard to find. Um, so I saw these online. I was like, I've heard of fish bites before. I've never tried them before. So I got them, and I got these other ones that are kind of fluorescent, like chartreuse uh, color, and they're. Uh, I'll have to try them if I run out of the, these other blood worms. But the, I think they're these are crab. No, yeah, they're crab flavored. Pretty cool. They they come in strips, and what you do is you just cut the strips down to different sizes, and then uh, just got a tap just then. Um, and then you can just, you know, don't make them real big, about two inches for these, these little fish that we go for. But you, you can always catch a big fish on it. But if it's too big a bait, they're just going to hit it and they're not going to hook themselves. And, you know, wherever there's small fish, there's usually bigger fish behind, too. You never know when that one cast is going to produce some kind of big fish, you know. That's what, oh. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Uh, did he get off? No, he's still on there. He hit really hard at the beginning. I thought he was bigger than this. Oh, uh, here you go. He, he's a little bit bigger than that other one. It's the same thing. It's like, I don't know what this fish is right here. I have no idea. No, I'm drifting. That's four. We we're a very competitive family, guys. So, uh... I love rubbing their faces in it. You guys got any of them worms that I gave you? Those fish bite worms left? Nah. Oh. Yeah. I have some chartreuse ones if you want to try them. Yeah, well, I mean, I would go like over over here and then just drift it like this because it seems like it, you're going on an angle like this. And just cast towards the middle and let it go down. I'm getting all kinds of bites. Oh, matter of fact, I just got another one. That's five. There you go, buddy. Did you have a bite? Yeah, Let him grow up there again. I'm going to keep filming. I don't even know if the camera's still on now. I'm hoping that it is. I'm going to keep filming until... Uh, until it just stops or battery dies or whatever happens I'm gonna just keep filming if it's a really long video maybe I'll split it up into two um, maybe I'll, I probably should take the camera off at some point and see if see if it's actually filming right I would that'd be too smart though I will at some point especially if I get tired of talking probably out here talking to myself right now it's so funny because there's like so many fish here that are just it's just unbelievable it's a fish sanctuary it literally is like fishing in an aquarium I'm telling you guys that time like it didn't go down but yeah it's like fishing in an aquarium it's unbelievable except for you can't see what you're catching now if you go out there further oh you see that look 
Something just came off the top of the water here. Oh, got the, oh, dang it, missed him. Talk to the fans. Uh, I'm hoping the camera's still on. Talking to yourself again. Yeah, I'm hoping the I'm hoping the camera's on because if not, I am talking to myself. Uh, okay. I'm almost at a almost doesn't have any flavor left on this. I tell you what, some big ones I seen jump out of the water too. The I don't know if they, huh? I can't see it. Oh. And the How did turn it on? Huh? How did you turn it on? I turned it on when it was off my head to make sure it was on and then I just left it on. I'm gonna have to take it off in a second here just to make sure or else I'm just wasting my time talking to myself. As I am up against land right now. Actually this would be the perfect thing because I won't drift. All right, I'm going to try to take this off and see, guys. It says it's filming. It says it is. I can't see anything on the screen. It says it is, though. I've got half battery. Let's try putting that back on. Hopefully it's in the right spot. I can't tell. All right. Let me put a new piece of bait on before I drift over there again. I hope it's filming guys because if it's not I'm gonna be PO'd I should go check it I'm, you know what I'm gonna take it off for a second Daddy yeah. see I have to take it off again just to check guys because there should be a red light somewhere on if it's filming oh yeah there's a red light good all right Tom will be really pissed came out here and didn't even get anything on there. All right, so I'm gonna put another piece of bait on before I go in. And you know what's funny, guys? I think this is hilarious. Whenever we go out fishing, Jackie's the most stubborn person I've ever met. You tell her where to. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like that's what I'm saying. Telling people, I'm like Jackie's the most stubborn person I think I've ever met. You tell her where to go, she never goes to where you tell her. And then she goes out there and she's probably anchored in the middle out there. Yeah. Yeah. And she ain't gonna catch crap as usual. Cause she don't listen to nobody. It's like this is a perfect little drift from one side to the other. You don't have far to row back, it's an easy row. You want some some good bait? Oh, big turtle head right there, just poked up. I don't want to catch him. I want to throw into the middle here. Throw through too far over to the land. Cast it right there. There you go. Let it go down, down to the bottom. Look at Jackie out there. She don't have a clue. Wacky Aunt Jackie. Oh, there's a plane over there. You guys can see it. Oh, getting by. Oh yeah. Ah. I hate that when you when you feel something that's really feels like it's really big, and then all of a sudden it just gets off. <sighs> that sucks. That felt nice too. Now I gotta check my bait. Oh, I got my bait off. Dang it. That was a nice hit too. It's so much for me saying that, yeah, it's, can't get this bait off. Huh. Well, that just made a liar out of me, didn't it? It's supposed to be biodegradable, so... That's another reason why we use this stuff. 
Same thing with Berkeley Colt. I got one. That's like six. Uh-oh, she's coming in. Finally, she learns. She was never the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm going to go move over again. I want that fish that took my bait, man. That was a nice... Wait. What you just do? Dip your hat in the water? Yeah. Well, you are a hothead. Yep. It's hot now. I think it's comfy. Well, we just got over a freaking 160 Yeah, <laughs> it never got up to 102. It was like, oh man, I got like a uh, knot in my line. Somebody sabotaged me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is fishing with Uncle Larry. Uh, we're putting, gonna put, of course, this will be on Lounge TV. Until next time, guys, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up, relax. I'll meet you at the lounge.